So this is the top of the line T-Cross that was just launched at 12.30 noon earlier. And let me show you the specs. Four cylinders with blue motion technology, so I guess it's fuel efficient. The 1.5 liter, 100, about 113 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and uh, 145 Newton meters of torque at 3,900 RPM. But the really nice thing I like about this one is that this one has a Euro 6 rating for its emission. Anyway, as of now, I have turned on the park light and then we have very nice looking light here. Projector lamp and the high beam is actually LED as well. Then you have nice uh, turn signals, I guess. Let me, so yeah, like that one reminds me of a patrol. So, and we have a single tone alloy wheel with chrome door accents. We are here at the rear and look at this. There's a LED stripe going all the way and it says T-Cross right here. Maybe people will put T-Crocs or something, but I'm just kidding. There's a backup camera for sure. And Volkswagen. Then here you go. This is the underside. You have some uh, fake uh, exhaust and we have the real exhaust right here. It's very flat and nice. And look at this on top. This car has panoramic sunroof. The, the top of the line has panoramic sunroof. Smart keyless entry system. And the side mirror, it has repeater. Uh, and that's it, that's just plastic right there. Chrome line all the way here. And it says Volkswagen here in the B pillar, in the black gloss. And here we go. Here's the interior. Look at the how it's shaped right here. It's very mm, up to date. It's very futuristic, uh, futuristic, and you can also see lines right here. Check the interior. Ambient lighting. Yeah, this one has ambient lighting. Like this one is kind of off for me because like this one looks like uh, I don't know those plastic uh, materials that you can see like in, in not in a crossover. <laughs> So yeah, I want to change this color, honestly. And then you have, oh, these are heated. So you can fold them and they are also heated, I guess. The window controls are here and both of the seats are actually manual. This one is six way and that one is four way. Then this is the usual uh, American, European type of lighting system. This is, Actually not automatic. Uh, tell me in the comment section below. Are you a fan of this color? How about this? Please do let me know and then bottle holder Compartment with speaker right there So the seat is actually in one piece and then it's a combination of leather and fabric Fabric is actually better for hot weather. So maybe you like that Hi Calico time! Hi Calico time! Yes! It feels fuzzy. It feels plasticky. It's soft here. This one can be improved. Okay, let's uh, see under. There. Very simple and here's the hood release. You need to pull it twice most probably. Thank you for watching everyone. So this is the dashboard area so i know you guys like it i like it it's very futuristic it feels like i'm in a robot it feels like i'm in a robot uh, cockpit do you also agree <laughs> so we have a urethane uh, material of the steering wheel black gloss and chrome accents also here chrome accents chrome accents also here this is the voice command view and the instrument cluster there you go you have also have buttons there and then the sun visor actually has light and it is not the uh, yellow type i like this uh, white type of uh, lights for the sun visor here also uh yeah the color will depend on the body colors you have like six options 
and then the turn signal stock and the manual windshield wiper as well can the steering wheel adjust up down and it is telescopic and the Volkswagen badge is glossy all right and then look at this the shape of the air vent is a uh, very uh, polygonish <laughs> and also here look at that it is not uh, same it's a very artistic <laughs> shape so to speak the air vents with chrome and uh, there's some design here I think I will need to turn on so that you can see the um, ambient lights and I think this is where the air filter is this one has like the cool air filter for the nice cabin and then oh it doesn't have dampers all right then going down you have manual air condition oh this must be engine on and off automatic and blanks here oh the turn signals are in led looks nice oh look that's beautiful like you will see that in mercedes before but now you see it in the t-cross so you cannot have everything but definitely t-cross is not ugly oh look at that i mean i cannot see it with my eyes it is real oh, that's cool okay let's go inside again and then this one has front and rear fog lamp as well there you go so oh this se has push start button very cool i like uh, having this uh, manual or analog type of uh, dials for the aircon and also the radio you know i'm maybe old-fashioned but yeah i like it and it's in leather compartment here and type c charger type c charger and usb port for your apple carplay please like the video guys if you are enjoying this right now then we have a standard room mirror standard room mirror and then we have cabin lights oh in led that's very good all right and controls for the shades and the sunroof and also you have some vents here so that the motor will not overheat in case you guys didn't know that <laughs> okay let's look down here yes we have a place for our phones 12 volt here that's always a good thing then we have cup holders here and and we have manual handbrake so which means you will not be having uh auto brake hold but this is leather okay it is in stitching let's open it so there's no button but it opens like that it's just very tiny so you can probably fit uh I don't know because it's not even just square the dashboard is actually a soft hard plastic and then yeah at least you have something here so that you can put something on top but uh, let me show you other stuff first <laughs> there are other options this is what is this oh this is the s variant oh guys this is the this is the uh, lower variant because you have two variants so guys, we got the key to the T-Cross SE variant. It's a remote key with flip key and it is actually a smart key. So just uh, the key in my pocket. Let's do that. Uh, then I can just lock it. Yun. And then, oh, you can see that it is armed. Then press it one more time. Then it opens up like that. Okay, we have the key now let's try so on first oh there what's wrong with the oh no so that's how it looks like yeah it shows indication for the seat belts the backlight is like a hyundai or a kia and then there must be a button to control time service and range trip meter and then let's see if we can do something oh assist system then okay front assist deactivated front assist activated 
So let's go back. Driving data, vehicle status, manual type of cruise control, and the volume is here. What is CL, CNL? Oh, the compass is there. There is cruise control. This is actually, oh! Oh man, oh, oh, how do I lower the volume? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks very cool. I, I guess this one matches the color. But I also know that this one has like a hand gesture. Hand gesture, vehicle, all right, vehicle. Yes, that's what I wanted to press also. So it has tire pressuring monitoring, tire pressure monitoring system. Mm, home, app connect. Oh, yeah, this one has a Baidu car life and Apple CarPlay for connectivity. And then radio, sound, images. Okay. Oh, and then, uh, of course, it's not a high frame rate, but it is like a butter. Yes, those fans of BTS, it's like a butter. Assistant systems. Oh, it has front sensors. I, parang I didn't see it, but it must be there. And then, so it has front assist. Okay, display, distance, warning, information. What else? Can I show you guys? So this is home menu. Maybe. Oh, this is cool. Then home again. Oh yeah, you have uh, like three different windows. Where can I see the ambient lights, right? Ambient lights. There is light here. There, you see that? And then where else can we see the ambient lights? This place is, there you go, there's some. There you go in the door handle. And then we also have airbag here, airbag also here. Is there also airbag there? No, this one, that's just enough. We can control the shade even more, so we have more light. Here comes the panoramic sunroof. Boom. And then, of course, you have a mesh there. There you go. Panoramic sunroof. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. There you go. This is the door panel. Oh, this is leather. I like this nice leather. Yes, and this is all plastic. Now the orange accents are less here in the second row. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And we have pouches here. Here also. Now, uh... I don't know, maybe I just don't like this one. I don't like the color. But as you can see, we have air vents. That's a good thing, but it is in black. We have type C charger and USB charger or charge port. And the center tunnel is on the low mid level. Okay. And then we have yellow stitching or orange. And then you have a hook here for your barong. And yeah, it looks nice. Look, it looks very futuristic, right? This color is just popping. And then uh, there's no cup holder or center armrest, but we have nice uh, headrests. Okay, so that's about it. You have isofix points and you have a three point center uh, seat belt. So that's a good thing. And let's check out more stuff, maybe here Ooh, yon, it's electric it's not powered but it is electronically open and halogen plate number lights and then here is the trunk now you it, it's very nice that you get a trunk cover so that people won't see your stuff and then you also have something like this okay so that is going to be this is going to be resting here for you to change the bulbs it's very deep and if you need more then you can actually use this to actually push down and also this push down but uh, with the headrest up I, uh, let's see if it will work oh yeah so you have more cargo space when you fold them like that and then yes you have early warning device guys if you don't have this one this one like cost like 350 on the streets uh, or in Ace Hardware, if you don't have this, you know, and, you, and your car stops, 
traffic law enforcer will charge you 5,000 peso. So better have it. And then what's down here? Oh, my finger. Oh, yeah. There you go. We have a donut type of spare wheel. Okay, let's close it. Boom. Looks nice, right? There are clearly four sensors uh, there. There, it's a push type. So when your door is locked, it will not... Oh, Chinese written on it. Mm-hmm. But it says here, recommended brands. Caltex, Petron, Shell, Total, Unio. So there is no Phoenix. <laughs> so lock it. And unlock it. There you go. It's very quick. It's very quick. Oh, and we also have roof rails. And it's not the chip type. It feels cold. Looks very usable, guys. Oh, that's a very nice thing. And we have a short pin antenna. And then... Yep, let's open the... Oh, it's just once. Okay, let's try it. Jaron, Here is the engine bay. All right. Guys, do you know if this is made in China? I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Yeah, and then it looks nice, you know. Because the tip of the strut is yellow, it looks like a dragon. It is easy to see. Because sometimes when it's all black and it's all dirty, it's hard to see. It's hard to find that, so... Are you okay? Okay, we're going down. Yeah. Drop it. Boom. All right. So that's the top of the line SE T Cross. I think the biggest difference between this and this is that you have no air vent here and you don't have a panoramic sunroof here. And there are also some stuff that I forgot to memorize. But as you can see, the rims are different. The rims are different. And I, the leather is gone. You only have leather, uh, you only have fabric here. So this is where your aircon is supposed to be. It would have been nice if they included that, of course, but it is what it is. And how about here? You don't get a push start button. And what else you don't get here are some airbags. Yeah, the airbags are only here and there. And I don't think there is airbag here in the, the side, nor the curtain. Oh, the door almost hit me. So the filling of the door, it's not cheap. The filling is very expensive and premium. And this one is different. And you won't have ambient lights here. And you don't get the color option for the dashboard. So that's what I can see so far. If you guys have found something else, please do tell me in the comment section below. All right, did I answer all your questions, guys? I hope I answered your questions. And yeah, you're missing the daytime running light as well. And it is also halogen here. And your front grille is not all chromed. And maybe, and you don't have a fog lamp. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Theophanes. And then there is no chrome. I like having no chrome there. Then this one is like uh, exposed. And let's just see it. Yeah, it's just the same. And just to check, just to check. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't have folding, so it won't fold automatically, I'm guessing. So the wind, the mirror actually has magnified portion, and that's a good thing. It still comes with a side repeater. That's good. There you go. So you don't have a fog lamp in front, but you have fog lamp at the back. It still has cruise. No, yes, it has cruise control. Almost similar. But I like having black uh, interior more than the, the grayish color. And uh, the roof rail is in black matte. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, yawn. Oh yeah, forgot to try to fold this one. 
Okay, on. And then let's see what happens if I turn this one. Oh, it's for heating. But how do you fold it? So it's not auto folding. Okay, the manual uh, headlight adjustment, there it's working. Oh, and I also like how subtle it is. It turns off very slowly, look. Oh, I forgot to see if the aircon is actually integrated here to the head unit. Okay, it's not integrated. The aircon is blowing. Oh, and it's also illuminating here. It is also illuminating here. So the ambient lights are actually there. And then how about this one? Oh, there's also light here in the footwell. So lights, let's go to lights, guys. There, lights. Oh, we still have this. Instrument cluster panel lighting. So that's the lighting. And then footwell ambient lighting. Let's turn off the light so we can see better. Turn off the light and brighten our days. Oh, I cannot see it properly. There you go. So I'm gonna adjust it down and up. Mm, that's cool. All right, I think that's about it. Oh, and the door lock and unlock is here. Okay, how about at the back? Where's the door lock and unlock? um not sure where it is not sure where it is oh yeah the tire size i forgot it's a 205 55 r17s so that's a very good size for a crossover you have black all around just like a cx30 solid disc brake not drum brake guys yay that's a good news torsion beam and macpherson in the front and uh Take a good look at this top variant, guys. The headlight. Okay. And then I show you the lower variant. There you go. It's like halogen all over. But you still have this chrome line all the way there. Here is the lower side. And uh, oh, this is good. We have some air vent, airway here. So the air can actually pass through. That's cool. Those are the things I want to see. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And the uh, full review is coming soon. All right, thank you guys. And uh, congratulations Volkswagen AC Motors for launching this unit successfully despite the pandemic. All right, Kamsamnida. All right, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video.